Hi, and welcome to Everything Board Games. My name's Scott. Today I have a very special tr treat for you guys. Um, this Today in the mail, I got a Kickstarter that I've been waiting on. The name of it is Outlive. Um, when I get it out of the box, I'll pronounce the company that made it. Um, it's French, so I'm not very good at pronouncing French, I don't guess. But uh, we're going to take a look at the table, and I'm going to show you everything that's in the box. All I've done so far is pop it open to make sure that that's what was in the box. Um, but I, everything else is still sealed, and we're going to look at it for the first time together. Let's go to the table. Okay, everybody, this is the box right now that came in the mail. Um, all I did was loosen the tape, take a look inside just to see what was there, but I haven't touched anything really. So we're just going to peel the tape off. And I'm going to open up the box. We have a, uh, some packing material. Nobody needs that. Um, uh, apparently there's another Kickstarter coming from this company. Um, and that'll be coming soon. Or, no, not coming soon. Going on right now. May 17th to June 9th. So if you think you might like this game or uh, this, this one's class of Clash of Rage, and uh, that comes with 70 detailed miniatures. Uh, stop by Kickstarter and check it out. Got packing slip. Outlive Collector's Edition and Outlive Stretch Goals. Now the stretch goals for this are uh, are all bagged on the outside of it. Um, the box itself is inside. We're going to take that out and get rid of the box. There we go. And I don't know if I can fit it all in frame. It's a pretty tall box, actually. This is the Outlive uh, Collector's Edition, um, designed by Gregory Oliver and Miguel Coimbra, is the illustrator. Um, I don't. I hope I don't butcher this too badly. But the the company is Labate de Jo. Hopefully that was good enough. Hopefully that was right. Um, I saw this on Kickstarter about a year ago, and it looked incredible. The minis were were all there. They looked really good. And so I thought I would back it. And hopefully the plastic isn't going to give me too much trouble. Um, all the all the things in this bag are Kickstarter goals. Let me grab a little carpenter's knife. Help us out here. Um, be very careful. I don't want to cut anything. Nothing of importance. Um, I believe what part of this is is um, these are some expansions. Um, the horde expansion. It says. Or the horde. I don't know if it's, that's the name of the expansion, but uh, I'm gonna open this up. And we're gonna take a look at these cards. We're gonna check out the quality. Um, all the cards say horde on the back, except for oh, these are new leaders. So these are new leaders and one new event and horde um, nuclear blast. Make sure everybody can see that. Um, Gaia Hope, Jean a surge. Uh, Charles Cravier, Bob Crappy, and then uh, Horde's Priority. I, I don't know a whole lot about the game, so I don't know exactly what these uh, cards do yet, but uh, I will figure that out. Yeah, I'm not going to put them all back in there. I know that this is one of the expansions. This is uh, one of the small expansions that they did. Um, it has to do with... Uh, Animals of some kind, I'm guessing. There's raiders, uh, refugees, and merchants involved in this one. Um, these I know on top here are the upgraded boards, uh, the upgraded player boards. Um, they have, uh, they're, they're really good, good quality boards. They have the original flat board, which from what I understand is going to be inside the box. And then we have the... Uh, these inset boards so that you'll be able to stick your miniatures 
and uh, the the tiles that for each thing, and you can put your resources in here. Um, and then it, uh, also on the boards, it has the the night phase, night phase, um, and I'm sure there's a day phase, but we got uh, one, two, three, four player boards. Um, and this um, broken equipment rules summary, day and night phase, and survival points. Here's some more punch out boards with uh, more plastic. Some more punch out boards. Oop, they're already coming out. With uh, more expansions, there's some animals. You get a goat. A uh, dog, uh, looks like a hawk maybe, some grenades, not sure exactly what you get if you put all them together. Um, and then the, the mini expansions, well here they are. Um, one of the mini expansions is Lost in the City, Relics from the Past, and then Predators. That's the different expansions that come in it. Um, they are Kickstarter exclusives. Uh, this also comes with a solo mode which I may be trying out in the coming days. I'll probably do a uh, maybe a video on this because I'll definitely get my review in there. I still haven't gotten a review on Dark Souls yet. But it's coming. It's coming. I'm a one-man show here. I do the editing. I do the filming. I do the posting and the videos and everything. So it's, it's, it's a slow process, especially when you have a full-time job. So here we go. I'm going to open up the uh, plastic on the outside of the box. Nice box. Um, very nice box. Get rid of that. Make the woman clean that up later. Um, I'm going to take the lid of the box off. And we'll get a look at the uh, illustration on the front. Uh, let's see if I can get the whole thing in, hopefully. Outlive, collector's edition. Um, says it's uh, two to four players. 25 minutes per player. That would be awesome if that's if that was true. If it's true, I don't know. It might be. Might not be. Um, 14 and up. So it's, it tends to be on the little little of the heavy side. I'm guessing if it, you need a 14 year old, is the oldest that can play it. Now we have in here, we have. These are the meeples, that come with the uh, regular edition. Um, I'm pretty sure. I've I've seen some stuff about this. Um, the ones that we get for backing the higher pledge are going to be plastic miniatures, and uh, they will be uh, in the box. There are some boxes in a box. Um, got some cards here. We'll take a look at those cards, run them by the camera. If I can figure out a way to open them. Apparently I'm being defeated by cellophane today. Let me see if I can get into this. Ah, there we go. If I can do that without slicing my hand off, that will be a plus. Uh, survival points summary, and then we have uh, some leaders. Um, looks like some event cards. Yep, these are all. These must be all the base game events. Take a look. Make sure you can see them. Um, we have uh, a mutated animal. Oh, that looks like some sort of elk with uh, three legs. Maybe I don't know. Can see it, kind of creepy looking. Um, glaciation, enemy clan, rat infestation, general scarcity, episodic disease, and then I believe these are all are these all leaders. Yep, these are all leaders that you can choose as a leader of your your little colony. And. We have some more stuff inside this box. Holy cow, more cellophane. If I can get through this, I'll be I'll be doing really well. Let's take a look. This seems to be the game board, which I am kind of kicking myself that I didn't uh, put a few extra dollars forward for the bigger board because that I've seen it next to this board and it's it's a pretty nice pretty nice board. Probably about uh, one quarter to two quarters. Uh, bigger than this one but I'll let you get a nice look at the board the arts the arts nice it's not sure like I said I'm not sure exactly how any of this works but uh, I will uh, I will get that together and I will let you know 
let's see what we have in here. Um, I'm not sure. Another another board of some kind. And uh, yeah, I was correct earlier. These here are the boards that you would get if you didn't have the uh, Kickstarter exclusives, the the stretch goals. This is uh, they're flat. There's no indentation. The ones that I have over here, and let's pull one out so you can take a look and see what they look like side by side. It's, ba it's basically the same board, but one is indented and raised up so you can put pieces in it and stuff, and the other one's just a flat piece of uh, cardboard, but still in good good condition. I mean, it's decent, decent cardboard. We have here a bunch of tokens. These are all the resource tokens, and again, like I said, this is the collector's edition. They're, for some reason, they're giving you everything that you would get in the normal edition and everything you would get in the collector's edition because this is this is water and wood and meat and people and I don't know if those are adversaries or, or what they are but got several several boards with uh, resources and people on them and we have uh, some thinner boards with uh, different tokens on them that I don't know what they are and these look like they're tools that you'll be able to use Hopefully everybody can see everything. Like I said, I'm kind of new to this, so I'm get, just getting used to camera angles. Um, we have some battle gear. Um, so these all seem to be like equipment that you can equip on your characters or character or leader to help you uh, explore better. Um, right here we got uh, oh, the rule book's a little bent, but not bad. Um, right here we have the uh, the rule book, and it is in English. That's a victory. I've heard. Some people have accidentally gotten the French versions, but this will tell. It looks like it's, uh, you know, a lot of illustrations. Looks like it might be in order. We'll see. Like I said, we'll have to read through the rule book. And uh, I can't do what I normally do. And when I start to play a new game and watch a YouTube video on it, because I have to make the YouTube video. Um, and then here are some of the pieces that go inside the board. So let me see if I can. Like, here's an equipment. And we'll. See if I can't grab that board that we had just a minute ago when I was showing you the different boards. There we go. And these will fit inside these. Just like that, even though I'm holding it almost at a 90 degree angle, it still stays in. And these are for minis if you did get the pledge with the minis. The, this will pop out and you can put your miniatures in. There'll be three will stand inside there. So that's something to look forward to. We got a couple of those. And then we have a piece of paper. And we're going to take that off. And I don't see any need for that other than... Now here's what, to, here's what you got with the, with the Kickstarter exclusive. With the upgrade in the box, you got all these little boxes, which I believe are going to be probably a little tough to open. Let's see if I can get this without ripping or breaking anything and inside this one are your miniatures for the bullets which uh, this ought to be pretty easy to paint little metallic uh, little metallic gray little wash comes in quite the large box for the for the size of the bullets um, what do we got here all the boxes all the little other boxes fit inside the main box which is uh, it's a decent solution. I mean, they thought ahead a little bit as far as to how to how to do things. Uh, these look like little barrels of some kind. Get a bunch of little barrels. And oh, maybe they're toxic waste. I'm not sure what. Looks like uh, looks like something coming up out of this box. I don't think they have anything to do with what's actually in them because if they did, the box with the bullets on it would have had the bullets on it. Maybe they just didn't pay attention to that. This seems to be, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Get my glasses on and then maybe I'll be able to tell you. Um, circuit boards of some kind, maybe. We'll see. Each of these boxes, I believe, contains resources. So far, so good. I'm getting them apart. Let's hope that doesn't end now. Hey, we got some meat. We have some ribs. That wouldn't be too hard to paint either. Get it a nice meat color. And then maybe paint the bones white. A little wash. 
That'll come out good. And then here's the box I was telling you had the bullets on it. That should probably have the bullets in it. But it did not. But there's nothing stopping me from doing that. And there was a box with meat on it, but that didn't have the meat inside. Alright, and this... Um, not entirely sure what this is. Maybe little doors? Something? Can't really tell. Maybe you guys can tell. Little doors? Maybe? I don't know. Let's open up this one. Yeah, there's quite a few boxes. We have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mini boxes inside. Now, this is definitely wood. Definitely. Box of wood. And now these boxes here, these are slightly bigger, so that we'll see what actually comes in these. Take these off. Um... These look like miniatures, and as you can see, they are the size of the holes in the board that you would stick your players in, I'm assuming, for to hold your space, some sort of worker placement strategy, some sort of mechanic like that. There's lots of minis in those. And we have uh, some more stuff in here. We're going to look at all of this, folks. Um... More minis in there. Looks like uh, little dudes with clubs, spiked clubs. Probably don't want to run into those. I can't see that those would be your guys. Uh, looks like some ladies in gas masks, maybe. And then we'll take a look at this one. Let's see if I can get out of here. And yeah, more minis. Seems like every one of these boxes just has miniatures for the game in them. We'll get a closer look at them later when I when I review the game. Um, the components seem to be decently made, so I mean the miniatures they're they're not top notch, but they're they're pretty good. Water, water jugs. Shouldn't have to do a whole lot with them. And now for the big one, big one on the inside. I'm assuming these are the replacements for those little wooden guys that I showed you earlier. And yes, they are here. This is the prize right here. These are, um, as you can see in the background, there's a there's a three. I don't know if you can see. There's a three behind there that determine. You know, it shows you that this is the third uh, three strength party. I believe is what it is. The strength. I'm not sure. I haven't read. I've read the rule book a little bit, but there are uh, there's threes, threes. This is uh, this is a four. Purple. Not sure if I'll end up painting these ones or not. I mean, it seems to be the color. Another four. Threes, threes and fours. I think that's all we got is threes and fours. Maybe that's all there is. Um, oh wait, that looks like a five. Yeah, that one looks like a five. And I'm guessing that all corresponds to the people. Um, yeah, so then we got three. Four and five. It's all the bits. The people on the thing. It's a nice, nice box. It's gonna keep this together. It's gonna keep it nice. Something that you don't have to worry about buying an insert for. That's that's what's important. Well, this seems to be everything that's in Outlive. I will get on it within the next week or so, and uh, maybe I can get you uh, a review on this. Hopefully, gotta have time. Got that full time job going on. Get a review in on this, and then uh, possibly. Uh, a playthrough on this and I want to do a playthrough on Dark Souls yet. Um, I got some other stuff coming. I just bought uh, Race for the Galaxy which I still have to learn. That Steam's daunting but uh, we'll give it our, our best shot. But uh, until, uh, until next time, uh, thanks for stopping by.